Raising Cain, short review. Jenny is starting to doubt if her life is really quite as perfect as she thought when, you know, the ex comes back into town. But then she reminds herself that she does have a perfect husband, this excellent psychiatrist who's taking time off his practice to watch over their child Amy. Although he is getting a bit obsessive about it and it's almost like he's studying her. This is a psychological thriller very much in the vein of Alfred Hitchcock. De Palma is yet again doing... I mean, the, ba the movie is basically an homage to Hitchcock. It's very suspenseful, very intense, full of tension as well, and just... It's, it has a lot going on for a running time that doesn't quite break 90 minutes, and you might want to watch it more than once just to make sure you picked up everything that happened. And it's also a film that will leave you with a couple of questions that you won't necessarily be able to answer. And it's it's not entirely credible. It's m sort of a Hollywood psych psychology, you know, kind of thing. The score is excellent. Lithgow is perfectly cast, and his creepiness really ramps up the suspense. De Palma's camera really as well ramps up the suspense and it's it's used really well you know this is one of the films where he's very much at home with just you know do doing all these interesting things with the camera if you like this review and want a more detailed one check below it's there as a video response if not it'll be in the description box please rate and comment and hey if you like this video that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it